Welcome to Module 34 of Mechanics and Materials Part 1. Today's learning outcome, if we're given a set of plane strain conditions, we'll be able to de determine the strain on any given plane using Moore's circle. And so here is the condition of plane strain and the strain transformation. Uh, we had the equations that related to Moore's circle. And we also had Moore's circle sign convention, as shown. And last time, we did part A, which was to develop the or find the principal strains, epsilon 1 and epsilon 2, and the maximum in-plane shear strain, uh, and the orientation to the principal planes. Now we want to do part 2, which is the normal and shear strains on uh, plane AA. And so for plane AA, we're rotating 50 degrees. Uh, counterclockwise on the stress block. So theta sub A equals 50 degrees on the stress block. So 2 theta sub A is going to be 100 degrees on Moore's circle. And so if I draw that, we're going to go uh, 100 degrees and so we're going to end up somewhere up here and this is 2 theta sub a and so remember from the last time we did this sort of an approach on uh, more circle for plane stress we'll call this angle phi and so we find phi equals 2 theta sub a minus 2 theta sub p or 100 minus 24.8 degrees which is equal to 75.2 degrees. Now we want to find, this is going to be point A up here, we want to find what those stresses are and so drop a vertical line down here. So for our triangle now, sine of phi will be this opposite side over the hypotenuse, which is the radius. And so we have sine of phi equals the opposite side is going to be the shear strain at A, gamma sub A divided by 2 over the radius which was r or 716 mu. So we have gamma sub a divided by 2 is equal to r which is 716 times sine of 75.2 degrees or gamma sub a over 2 the shear strain divided by 2 at point a will end up being 692 mu radians and we can do a similar approach to find the normal strain at point A. So we want this distance, and this will be the, the uh, adjacent side. So it's the cosine. So we have epsilon A equals 716 times cosine of 75.2 degrees. But that's only this distance here. We also need to add 300 to it to get out to point A. So that's plus 300 mu. And so epsilon A ends up equaling 483 mu. And I'll put in millimeters per millimeter, even though that's dimensionless. So now I have my uh, point A, the uh, strain conditions there. The normal strain is 483 mu, and the shear strain divided by 2 is 692 mu. And the last thing we want to do is show that, well, let's call that our answer, because that's the normal and shear strains on plane AA. Let's show it on a properly oriented stress block, so we're again going from a horizontal uh, face. And so I've got my horizontal face here. I'm turning now. Uh, to point A on the stress block, um, I'm turning 50 degrees, and so 
this angle is 50 degrees. And when we get to that 50 degrees, the stress strains on the, that face are going to be 483, it's positive, so it's in tension, U. So the shear strain is positive, and this is the value of the shear strain divided by 2, 692. So on my stress block, it's going to be twice that for the shear strain, and that's going to be 1,384 U. And so here's a properly oriented uh, block, and it's got the strain showed on it in the proper convention. And you can do that for any plane now at any angle uh, using these more circle techniques. And so that's where we'll leave off this time.